นาทับอยู่ซิวันที่สกอร์ตสตาร์ทฟังเลยโอ้ยที่เกิดเยอะอาบเป็นโฮมเลสแค่ไม่ได้หางานแต่ผมทำอยู่จะเป็นแบบนี้มิสเตอร์ฟอร์สฉันทำได้นี่ไม่ใช่ครั้งแรกที่คุณแสดงแบบนี้ฉันก็ได้รับการแสดงสิทธิ์ของคุณมาก่อนและตอนนี้คุณมาที่นี่ในชอร์ตด้วยคุณมาหลังเจ็ดฉันต้องการเวลาที่คุณตั้งใจคุณจิตคุณจิตคุณจิตคุณสามารถทำอะไรได้ในชีวิตได้นั่นคือสิ่งที่สุดของประเทศนี้ในขณะที่ถ้าคุณอยู่ในประเทศนอร์เวย์You live in other parts of this world where you're restricted from even accessing the internet. You have this unfounded sense of entitlement, where just So I tried to get here. I didn't. It was real hard to get here. I've been living on the streets. You see, I got shorts on and stuff. I've been wearing these clothes every day. Having your life here. This is me. I've been homeless. Where's mom and dad? Mom? Here, but she got a boyfriend, so we don't want nobody to come by her. So. It's just. So、I'm、you just don't、it. want to go over there. I guess that's what it is. No, she got a boyfriend, so. So. He don't. I guess he just want my mama to himself or something. I don't know, but I've been calling my mama. I'd be like, you know, but I'm not about to really beg her, you know, because I don't want to look at me like that, like um, you know, just like I just need you that bad. So、but、you I, do. But you do. Sometimes in life, you have to tuck your tail. Between, and not try to man up when you ain't got nothing. You know it's better to go home where you have a roof over your head, and you, nine times out of ten, I bet if you got a job and you came home and you gave your mom a little bread and a little help, it would go a long way because this, this is what talks. Not the shisha that comes out of your mouth, and where you just go home and you fight with the boyfriend and you fight with whoever it may be. No one is going to give you anything in life, Mr. Forrest. You got to earn it. No, that's what I'm trying to do. Using the street as an excuse when you have a place to go to doesn't fly. No, I didn't have a place to go to. You can always go home. To mom. No, that's not what happened. What else do you have in your life besides your mother? I'm from New Orleans. I I don't really know how I ended up here, but I've been here for so long. It was a time that I've been. I stood in front of you before. I was with this girl named April. She lied and said that I hit her and all this. And then we, I was right here and remember with the um、uh, the man. He lied and said I didn't pay him. And then I went to jail. He arrested me and sent me to the back, and then it came back that I was telling the truth, and then it was over and stuff. And I was with that girl. She used to sit back there in the back with me all the time in court every day. That was that time, but I was I was wrongly accused that time. That's not what I see. From the last shot.、Mm-hmm. Yeah. My records show the complete opposite of what you're saying, but regardless, that doesn't matter. I, I got a lot going on, so I'm just trying. How do you to... have a lot going on when you're just on the street? I'm still in the street. I'm still in the street. That's why it took me all to get here. So tell me what's going on. I don't know. I don't know. It's like people don't like me or something. I apply for every job all around the world. I don't get it. I even I put on my little best clothes. It's still a little dirty. I button it all the way up. I come in there. I speak nice, and I just can't get no job. I don't know what's going on. Perception is re- 
Man, but, but do you see the way that you're acting to me? Look, what I'm trying to tell you is that perception is reality. If you walk in and you walk in smug with the air of entitlement, meaning that you're greater than everyone. Oh, That's not me. You came in here to me like this and I'm a judge. Not, you're supposed not, to show as much respect to a judge as you can because your literal life is in our hands. If I wanted to, I could throw your ass in jail now and make your bond $50,000. That's crazy. But that's reality. And what I'm trying to do. Well, last night I was like, I was like, what's going on? All of a sudden, your YouTube popped up on my phone. <laughs> I was like, what? Part I was like, oh no. If I drug test you now, what's gonna show up? Yeah. What else? Yeah. I was like, what else? That's it. I'm gonna send you right now. Yeah. I'm gonna send you. What I find, Mr. Forrest, that a lot of people prefer to live on the streets for two reasons. Number one, and most importantly, they don't like to live rules that mom or dad make in a house. Number one, bless you. Number two, people like to use. And they like to use either alcohol I'm or legal a, drugs. I'm and the drug. problem is, is that doesn't jive with where you're living at home. They don't want to see it. But they'd rather kick your ass out on the street than have to deal with that. I think if you really want a job, give this, can you bring, give me one of those flyers, will you please? That's all I've been trying to do. Uh, I won't be doing nothing wrong out here. Well, come on. Then I'm giving you, Other people Mr. Forrest, I'm going to give you the opportunity now. We have a workshop. It's this weekend, right? Isn't it this weekend? Huh? Yeah. Yeah. This weekend, I have a fair coming up. If you want a job, there's going to be loads of people with jobs to give you right there. It'll be like a guaranteed job to where I can work every day because I don't want to be outside all the time. I would like something that's just stable, you know, at least 10, 12 hours a day. Beggars can't be choosers, Mr. Force. You get what they have. I don't know what they're going to have, but you have to be ready to accept whatever they have to offer. And that's it. You're not going to be a rocket scientist. Don't expect a rocket science type salary. You get what they have. The problem is, is that you got to show up. And if you come with this attitude that I work on the, I live on the streets, so I'm not going to show up to work at nine o'clock. I'm going to show up to work at 11. That doesn't jive. So if you want a job, you have to act like you are going to have it, you're going to show up on a daily basis, on time, not smelling like a, a brewery. You take a shower, you smell good, you wear nice clothes, but do you think if you go to a job looking like this, how do you think it's going to go? You're coming to court and you should be looking at or near your best when you come to court. Looking like this with the excuse that you're on the street. Come on, man. If you want a job, this is the place to get it. I am now giving you the opportunity, it's Mr. Forrest. This is guaranteed. That Nothing is guaranteed in life but death and taxes, my friend. There is no freaking guarantee. You want a back rub too? Show up. If you show up and you look like a million dollars, good things will happen for you. Show up, take a shower, dress nice, brush your teeth, and things will go well. I'm going to be there too, Mr. Forrest. I'm going to be out there helping as well. There's no excuse. Do me one more favor. Don't come back in shorts again.
All right, last time when I came, I had my boots on, my shirt buttoned up, you know, I was clean that day. I'd already, I'd already revoked your bond. You know that, right? I'd already issued a warrant for your arrest. You're lucky that I haven't left because otherwise you'd be, your butt would be sitting in jail. So next time when you come to court, it starts at 30. Don't wear shorts. It's a complete sign of disrespect. I'm not trying to disrespect you. I'm going to reinstate your bond now. I will give you an application for an appointed lawyer. It's now nearly one o'clock. Everyone's gone. You're going to have to bring it back. I'm going to set your case off for a couple weeks. Show up to this job fair. Because if you do, <clears throat> hopefully good things will happen for you. I've just been waiting. Actually, I've been waiting on the opportunity. I've been, I've it's, been. It's you in know, your hands. You know, I don't know if I'm coming off like something that's the complete opposite like i really i'm really out here trying like too many people don't try like i'm really trying i ain't give up yet i be laying on the ground every day and i'm trying i ain't never give up use my list of people it's over mr forrest i have a list of people that i'm expecting to show up on this program your name's now going on it So this is what we're going to do. I will send you home with an application for an appointed lawyer. We will see you back in two weeks. I'm sending you for a drug test now because I want to know what, if anything's going to test. If you don't test, I will revoke your bond. Next time, come on time. Do you understand? Thank you. Okay. All right. No, I want to know what the results are now, like today. And then if it's something that I hope not, We'll get a hold of Mr. Forrest and be sooner.